to Statler and Waldorf from the balcony on Movies.com. I'm Statler. Uh, uh, Waldorf. What is the matter with you? It's Nick and Jessica. They split up. Yeah, so? So now she's going to have more time to devote to her acting. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's terrible. Oh, no. I can't. Oh, let's, let's pull ourselves together. Listen. Okay. <clears throat> well... It's the holiday season, and a lot of fantasy movies are hitting theaters. Uh, it's true. I can't wait to see The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Well, I'm putting my money on The Lion to win. It's not a sports movie, you old fool. It's about these four little kids who meet a talking lion when they go through a magical portal into another world. Kids and talking lions? I'll be looking for a magical portal into another theater. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. My idea of a great fantasy movie is Memoirs of a Geisha. Well, it's not a fantasy movie. Well, you have your fantasies, I have mine. Hmm. Well, one thing on everyone's mind is the giant hairy ape movie. Oh, well, it's good to hear Robin Williams is working again. No, no, not him. Hmm? I'm talking about King Kong. Oh, right, yes. In honor of the upcoming release of King Kong, we'd like to bring you this special public service announcement. My name is Ivan. As you can see from my pitchfork here, I used to be an angry villager. You know, one of the crazed mob that's always chasing movie monsters into a windmill or a burning castle. But for me, those days are over. They better be. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, I've changed my ways, but unfortunately, Hollywood has not. Uh, you tell them. Uh, yeah. Well, well, most monsters do lots of good things for their community, like, uh, uh, oh, um, what, what do you guys do? Mom! All right, well, um, look, most monsters are kind and gentle. Sure, Godzilla took out those buildings in downtown Tokyo, but uh, look what it did for real estate prices. Yeah! <laughs> uh, and the mummy! What about the mummy? Yeah! Who doesn't love their mummy? There you go. Who doesn't love their mummy? Uh, and that monster and alien was helping folks get things off their chest mm -hmm. long before Dr. Phil. Yeah, that's how I found my inner monster. Okay, stay back. <clears throat> uh, yet, Hollywood continues to portray monsters as evil. Huh, evil? <sighs> yeah. And uh, dangerous. Oh, dangerous! <sighs> and always out of control. Well, I'm not out of control! I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! Oh, I, I believe you. Uh, <clears throat> come on, Hollywood! Be fair to monsters! Yeah, Hollywood! Be fair! <laughs> <sighs> oh. oh, sorry. It's all good. This has been a message from the Villagers Institute on Creature Treatment in Movies. My name is Sweetums, and I approve this message. Hmm. Why does Hollywood treat monsters so poorly? Hmm. Maybe they think they're Republicans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of things that Hollywood doesn't like, mm. let's drop in on that scourge of Tinseltown, our very own paparazzi, Clive Focus. <laughs> Hello, Clive Focus here. You know, some young stars get ruined by success. Take the celebs who live here. Whether they're partying with Paris, acting up with Ashton, or giving me the cold shoulder, these wags are Hollywood's newest bad boys. And what's the biggest claim to fame? Uh, March of the Penguins. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, look at that. Oh, this is great. <laughs> These former Warren Fowl are diving into the hot tub totally naked. Oh, this is going to be hot, 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 hot. Yes, oh, God. That was cold. Really cold. <laughs> I've had it with these paparazzi. Why? What'd they do now? Well, last night, I had to run through a crowd, duck into an alley, and drive like a maniac before I finally got one of them to take my picture. Well, speaking of pictures, I got a question about that new western Brokeback Mountain. Okay. Well, they say it's a love story, but mm. all I saw were two cowboys. Hmm. Hmm. That's, uh... Oh, oh, yeah. Right. Mm. Oh. oh. Well, they sure don't make westerns like they used to. Well, they don't make cowboys like they used to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Well, finally, if you like to laugh or if you just like to recycle, there's The Producers, a Mel Brooks movie musical based on a Mel Brooks Broadway musical, which was based on a Mel Brooks movie of the same name. 
Uh, who said Hollywood has no new ideas? I think that was us. Uh, we were right. Yep. Well, well, here's a new idea. It's today's balconism. balconism. Today's balconism is hackers. Hackers are the cut-rate actors who replace big stars in cheap sequels to their hit movies. Right, like the hackers who replace Jim Carrey in Dumb and Dumberer and Son of the Mask. Mm. See, what happened to those guys, anyway? Exactly. Mm. Oh. Well, sounds like we're out of time. Oh. Well, tune in next time for a special holiday edition of From the Balcony, where Waldorf and I will sing some ancient Yuletide carols and don we now our gay apparel. Mm. Oh, sounds like Brokeback Mountain the later years. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> well, get along, little doggies. Yippee ki yay! Mm, what show is this? It's a uh, tar show. Do the script. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ow. Oh, I broke a hip. No! <laughs> 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 <laughs>